How are white people stereotyped in predominantly non-white cultures? In Zimbabwe, white people are thought to have no knees. This is due to them wearing long trousers slash dresses all the time, apparently. This is also apparently extremely funny. The stereotype of whites amongst South Asians is that white people can't manage their finances properly, and that they are, in a sense selfish, self-concerned rather than being considerate about others. In that parents kick out kids at 18, and kids throw their parents into old homes, all because they are self-concerned, and only care about their lives. Also, that they can't plan for the future, part of why they are poor with finances. Also, white people, particularly Americans are scared of everything. Seat belts, pollution, terrorism, etc. And by that I mean to an unhealthy level of scared of stuff in their minds. That's generally the stereotype. Edit, wanted to update this after people rightfully bringing up Asians being inconsiderate. Keep in mind, the thing of most importance to South Asians is family and its family slash social circle that they feels, deserves the most consideration. Given the highly populated natures of these countries and the laissez-faire styled capitalism slash society, one quickly realizes, being considerate to everybody is shooting yourself in the foot, unless everybody else is also considerate, which is rare. Thus, this consideration is limited to your family slash friends. It's not as extreme in South Asia, in that they are willing to help a random stranger if it isn't detrimental to them, but the further extreme in an even more populous country such as China can be seen with the Todd slash van accident. So I'm just giving that perspective, where they are perplexed by why white people don't have any consideration of the ones they love, family. Also, you folks with the fans, South ASI equals slash EAST Asia. And you dolts, I don't mean whites are literally afraid of seat belts, rather the wearing of seat belts from fear. I'm Canadian, and in England people would ask are you American? When I would reply that I'm Canadian, they would without fail apologize profusely and say something along the lines of I didn't mean to offend you. I lived in a predominantly Hispanic area, and one thing was always associated with white people. Money. You were a rich white kid, no matter how much money your parents had. No matter where you lived or how poor you were, you were a rich white kid. When I lived in the Middle East, I was told by an Arab friend that she always thought that white people, mainly the women, were very slutty and stuck up. It explained a lot of the not so nice things some of my classmates said about slash to me before they got to know me. As a Chinese person who mainly grew up in the United States, I don't know much about how whites are stereotyped in China, but my parents do. Essentially, in China people have a love-hate relationship with white people, wanting to be like whites, which is mainly just western a BTW. In Cantonese a slang term for blacks literally translates to fermented soybean, because of the black color of fermented soybeans, because of the power and status it represents, but at the same time, are resentful of that power and status. People will fall head over heels around a white person. To the point where they'll just hire random white people to attend important parties or become spokesmen for products. Contrast that with the disdain they have for Chinese that come from America. My mom once said that if you, as a Chinese American, ever want to go back to China, that you'll get better way to service if you bring along a white friend wearing a business suit. Sad, but true. There was an economist article a while ago that talked about how Chinese were crisscrossing Europe to buy lots of western goods because it was a symbol of status in society that you could afford to buy those things. Many Chinese, likely due to the lack of education and exposure, are what I'd like to call extreme passive racists. This means that they have very stereotypical views of other ethnic groups, but they don't plan on taking action on those beliefs anytime soon. I'm sure it is like this for many other cultures as well. Among younger westernized Asians, there is a significant inferiority complex. I tend to use the Tyler Durden analogy, white people look like we want to look, fuck like we want to fuck. They are smart, capable and most importantly, free in all the ways that we are not. Every time I hear a Asian girl say I don't date Asian guys or hear a Asian guy ask about why, why white girls don't like Asian men. The first thing I think of is how that idea has manifested itself in their minds. 
in western China, where seeing a white person is so rare that people would stop dead when they saw me, stare, and often pull out a camera to snap some pictures of me slash with me. White people are considered beautiful, fashionable, sometimes ignorant, and a little sneaky. They assume we all speak English. Most people assumed that I was British, I'm American, because I'm skinny. In fact I had people ask me, after finding out that I'm from the US, why are you not fat? Close bracket. I didn't talk a lot of politics with everyone, kind of a touchy subject in China, but I talked about it with the family I was living with. They thought that Americans are warmongers. They thought it has been too long since we had real war on our soil and we've forgotten what it's like. We go into war to try and help people, but their opinion is that war helps no one. I've lived in Tokyo most of my adult life. There is a stereotype hierarchy which goes from foreigner that's the most important, then to the subsets of white automatically considered a loudmouthed American who only speaks English, or black automatically considered a hip-hop gangster who only speaks parody MTV English, or Asian yes, that's a stereotype in Japan. You'll be considered a dirty poor Asian. I'm a musician and unfortunately my appearance means I fall into a further subset. Dangerous foreigner, probably a drug dealer, because in Japan everyone assumes most crime is by foreigners. Actually crime by foreigners is proportionately much lower. So I get stopped by the police all the time. Edit I should add, just as being a black guy in a nice suit getting a coffee in Manhattan is a very different experience from being black with sagging pants and walking into a truck stop in Alabama, so Japan has a wide range of contexts which will affect your treatment here. Double edit, if you are just a tourist you'll only notice that people in stores are generally very polite to everyone. Among Dominicans, white people are considered rich and generally friendly. We also think that no crime occurs around white people. It is considered highly respectable for a Dominican woman to have a white man, even if he is a low-life drug dealer. I can honestly say that most Dominican mothers would rather have their daughter date a white, coke addict, garbage man than a rich, black doctor. White people are considered so above everyone else in our society. The funny thing is that to outsiders, Dominicans are black. Dominican women and the US want to be as far away from black culture as possible. They think they're white basically. It is quite funny. Somewhat relevant. Although we are both white European nation stereotype we Americans. I have a German exchange student in my school and I overheard someone talking about stereotypes with him. Apparently, the stereotypical American is, actual quote, a big fat stupid rude cowboy who drinks beer at McDonald's. Well, sh, t. My Asian friend told me that all her friends always felt that the white people they had encountered smelt like milk. All the time. Being a white male born into a western culture, I naturally sit around with my good old boys network and plot how I can actively keep minorities from getting political representation, and how best to keep women from earning 10% more in the workplace for similar functions. As a Caucasian who lived in China and other parts of Asia for some years, I'm generalizing a couple of stereotypes I came across, I, E, not everyone has them. White people are all from the US, I'm not, and can all speak English. White people all have money. White people have more beautiful skin eyes. White people who marry a local and have a kid will have a very smart child because it's mixed. White people cannot understand Chinese, so it's fine to talk about them openly, even when they are one meter away, never mind if they understand every word. Many white people have more open attitude towards relationships. White people can be more rude, but that's mostly okay cause they don't know better. As a pink, uh, white in China, I've pretty much never encountered hatred or open attacks. The racism, for better or worse, slightly favors white, which I suppose has to do with average income of foreigners there. Chinese have a lot of whitening products advertised, which I suppose may have to do with certain lower status jobs like field workers having more exposure to sun, hence are darker. However, my views are filtered from the racism Myers White encountered. In other words, there may be a lot of stereotypes I never heard of because no one told me, or because of the language barrier, I speak a bit, but wouldn't understand everything. All in all Chinese, were incredibly open and friendly, including being openly outspoken about race. 
Note that the stereotypes some westerners I talked to had about Chinese were much more brutal than this. They're like ants, uncreative, can't be trusted etc. Were some of the bad racist highlights I encountered. Also note that the stereotypes of Chinese in relation to blacks are worse too. Talking about race I've asked a couple of Chinese what would your parents say if you dated a black guy? And the answer was often that the parents would be strictly against this. As a final note, let's repeat, above stereotypes are not held by all Chinese, maybe not even the majority, maybe even only a minority. They are just some patterns I ran into. Rapacious, murderous, and oppressive, apparently. At my night party I walked into a room where my roommates, black, sister was talking about how she wants to kill all of the white people in a bloody revolution. There wasn't really any dissent coming from the rest of the room. As the only white guy in the room I just kind of backed out the door quietly. HM. Depends on the white people. I'm West Indian. BTW. Rednecks. Drink shitty beer. Have pickup trucks in their front yards. Sleep with their sisters. Have mullets. Don't value education. Racist. Bad teeth. Barbecue a lot. Presumably roadkill. Suburban yuppies. Make several misguided attempts try to make up for everything the rednecks do but fail horribly. E. G. Hold cultural parties like Zinco de Mayo and Chinese New Year. Try to make nice with their kids minority friends. Etc. Own minivans. Go to sporting events a lot. Eat terribly bland food. Young white people. Privileged yet paradoxically hate their parents. Common to all white people. Bad dancers. My wife from Cameroon was very surprised when she first saw white people that were poor. She didn't think it was possible. However once I went to visit a market and I heard a guy shout white people are rich, but not this one. This white guy is poor. That was probably a clever way to get my attention to sell me something. Maybe as a consequence of being thought rich, white people are very important or prestigious. Once we met a cousin of my wife who was bragging that her husband had several cars. My wife replied yeah well my husband is white. In Cameroon most people believe in sorcery. One guy who was apparently knowledgeable about these kinds of things told me sorcery doesn't work on white people. HMN. I'm Indian and this is an actual conversation I had. White woman. So in India, do you really go to school on elephants? Me, laughing making it obvious I was joking. No. We have camels for that. WW. Laughs too. So what did you think of the us when you first came here? Me. It was just like the movies. WW. Which movie? Me. Terminator. Unknown to her, I wasn't joking. Apart from the action, the country looked exactly like in the movies and people seemed to act exactly like in the movies. HMN. This is kind of irrelevant to the question. I just realized. But. Since I've typed it all. I lived in South America for 9 years, and the predominant stereotype is that white people are rich, entitled, and immoral. White women are seen as easy. The former comes from nearly a century of abuse from the US government and corporations, particularly the latter. US tourists most certainly do not help alleviate this. As a white guy, I ran into a lot of prejudice until people realized I was far more South American than American culturally and spoke perfect Spanish. These feelings mostly manifested in me getting charged roughly 10x the cost a local would whenever I went anywhere or bought something until I began to haggle in Spanish and they realized they had made a mistake judging me. This will probably get buried, but I wanted to offer my own experiences, and noticed most of the comments up top refer to Asian stereotypes. I'm surprised I didn't see this one yet. When I lived in the Bay Area in San Francisco for about half a year, any of my friends that were Chinese slash Korean thought that all white people never took their shoes off. I was constantly reminded to take my shoes off when entering their houses, because they thought we all just walk around the house dragging dirt everywhere. 